Tishak Tashi Haravet Tawak Taka Gazain team lat Tashi Haravet Tawak Taka to make on Uspadin Mavak Navsblach on Oglish, on Kesh the Willows Core on Dalanish, Kadiyan Fitusa on Tishak, Agas on Realtis Kun on Navsblach Ashin, a Kur Kunkin. Um, you mentioned there that the statement yesterday came from the board of directors of the St. Vincent's Healthcare Group. And this is not to cast asparagus on anybody, or <laughs> sorry about that, um, but it is to actually state the facts. Um, and I think the people of Ireland should know who are the board of directors of that group. And I'm going to name them. James Menton is the chair, Dr. David Brophy, Deirdre Burns, John Compton, Gerard Flood, Anne Hargadon, Miles Lee, Sharon McCabe, Dr. Ronan Mahoney, and Imelda Reynolds. So we need to find out what they're thinking and why they're thinking the way they do. Because I don't believe that this is about, as I said earlier on in the debate about the motion, this is not about the integrated needs of healthcare of women and babies. It's about the integrated needs of the investment of that board and the directors and the future, because they hold the privilege of being able to remortgage or sell that land. That land belongs to the people of Ireland. That hospital should fully belong to the people of Ireland. And I do notice that many ministers have eulogised the history of the sisters into jumping into gaps that were, that were there. Uh, just these gaps happened in the history of these states. These gaps were created. And although you say that this history predates your government, it certainly does. It doesn't predate your party. Fianna Fáil were at the heart of the arrangements with the church to provide health and education in this country. So the question for you is a defining one. It'll be a defining question for Micheál Martin. And will you ensure that the state will now do what it's supposed to do and take full control of the ownership, the ethos and the, de the delivery of services of that hospital? And it's not just the idea of ownership and control that matters. It's also ultimately the accountability of the state to the women of Ireland, to the people of Ireland. The accountability of the minister, of you, of the government and future governments indeed. It's not just about this government. And who controls the land does matter. And it means that if we get control of the land as a state, as a society, then we control the ethos and the business that goes on there, who gets employed there and who runs it. So the constitution of that group, it's clear and has been said time and time again, does not prioritise the people of Ireland. It actually prioritises an ethos that dates back to the era of Mother Mary Aikenhead. Um, I just want to finish by saying to you that I, I don't accept as a sister charity of no interest in this. The St. Vincent's Hospital Holding Group have indicated that they have full interest. The way we see it as a people and as a, a, a gender, women who can reproduce in this country, this is a very dangerous move. If we don't Thank get you, full control, ownership and Thank accountability you. of this new National Maternity Hospital that workers up, are actually Deputy, paying please. for. Time is up, well, er, er, du spørger, hva jeg mener av, og så når det er time den turen, hva meg an hospital skjønn nesplak og naglis. Time den turen skjønn, og med det å lære her, som er kone regodisje, og så med det å avle idder enn HSC, og så er det bord eg sule. Ni vegge en kjønn akkurat igjen naglis, er an hospital skjønn. I'm, I'm, I'm strongly of the view that there will be no religious ethos influence on this hospital. That will not be the case. But you do raise an interesting point in terms of ownership. I, I'm not going to get into the historic view where you love to sort of very simplistically uh, um, sort of link a party or one party to how the state evolves and so on. We can argue that on another day. All I, I do know that the, the people like Paddy Hillary, for example, who developed the first major state education at second level and comprehensive and community. Uh, and in terms of the vocational education community, as Sean Myland had done years earlier, uh, or indeed uh, the free education initiatives of Don O'Malley. So, you know, people evolve, you can't telescope the views of today back to earlier decades. Um, and I have a very open view in terms of history, but I don't ideologically affix my own perspectives on history, and I don't intend to do so now, other than to say this that I do take the point that. Uh, the, that, that the ownership is important and there shouldn't be any remortgaging into the future of this site by the hospital group. The government is not satisfied that that should be the case at all. Um, and, and, and it's clear and united uh, in, in, in relation to that issue. And I would make the point that I made earlier to Deputy Kelly, 
as the church exits institutions of this kind, it's what replaces it actually should concern us more, in my view, um, in, in terms of the governance uh, and who trustees will represent or, or various companies will, will represent. That to me is a more fundamental point um, into the future, given the scale and nature of state investment um, in, in a facility. I'm very much of the view that if the state is building something, the state should own it. Now this uh, has a history because of the fact that two voluntary hospitals have come together. The public interest demands that there be co-location. Let's be clear about that. It does demand that. Um, I ask the question sometimes, you know, why is it taking so long in this country to build hospitals? We had the same with Tala many years earlier, protracted negotiations. Uh, I was involved in getting the maternity and neonatal built in CUH and Cork. Thankfully, there were two state hospitals merging and the private hospital agreed to cease operations to facilitate um, one major maternity hospital for that region with a state-of-the-art neonatal facility. Um, and it's taken so much longer now Thank you, to get this facility <coughs> up and running. Um, it's agreed that there should be co-location because that gives a better outcomes for mothers and babies where, where there is co-location. Um, and, and hence that has created a, a context Hi. to this particular issue. Deputy Smith. I won't engage in the historical debate with you. You have your view and I have mine, but historians have also outlined the view. And it isn't just Fianna Fáil, but primarily Fianna Fáil, but Fianna Gael were also up to the rise in, in, in giving the gaps to the church to fill in terms of our health and education. We live with that legacy. Remember Dr. Noel Brown and the struggle that he had to engage in to get free maternity care for women. Um, but as the church exits, you ask, what replaces it? And that's a very good question. What does replace it? Is it going to be more privatisation of our healthcare system? You're not for that, you say, but yet we're building a national children's hospital with private suites already uh, allocated to it. And we really do have to move away from two-tier medicine. We need a national health service. And I agree uh, entirely with the great socialist, uh, Alan Kelly, who says you should nationalise the entire St. Vincent's complex. In fact, I go further uh, as, a, as a radical socialist and say we should nationalise the entire health service. That is what's required, and ultimately that is where we're heading. What we need to deal with now is the question of who owns the new National Maternity Thank Hospital. You, this is, is a defining moment for you, Taoiseach. Thank you very much, Deputy Taoiseach, the, please. The, the government will own the new hospital. The issue is the site, which we, the government wants to own as well. Uh, that's the issue. Uh, the religious ethos will not be there, will not have any influence whatsoever in terms of the running of the hospital, nor should the site or the hospital be mortgaged. And, 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 and furthermore, there has to be strong public interest reflected on the board of the new hospital, given the nature and scale of the investment by the state in this new hospital. That's where the state stands. The minister is going to engage with the stakeholders and will be making the views of government and indeed the Oireachtas and the Oireachtas known um, in, in, in relation to this issue. And the St. Vincent's Hospital Group, in my view, should take note of the consensus um, in, this, in the Oireachtas itself on this particular issue and should reflect on that uh, and should, uh, in my view, respond appropriately as the minister engages with them and indeed with other stakeholders as well.